So command copy is something that you can use to command copy from our AI. So um, I'm gonna be using this use case and this use case only through this demo, just to show you the power of what it has, um, as well as I just wanna show you that these are the other use cases or templates that we have. But again, I'll just be living in command copy because if you don't see something here that's and you wanna create it, that is where the command copy can come in. So for this, we can choose our use case. Again, command copy. We can choose the number of versions we want. I'm gonna say three. And then our output language. So if I want this in English, which I do, it'll stay there. A tone, I'm gonna say friendly here. And then the creativity level is ideal. So we have it set it for ideal for each use case that we'll put here. Um, but if you want it to be a little bit more simple, more direct, you can choose simple, chatty, a little bit more, and verbose. We also have extra settings, which I definitely want you to be using whenever you are using command copy. So if you're using a blog, if you're creating a blog or something, you obviously want that to be very long. However, if you're just creating maybe a product description or something like that, you want that to be short. So I will I'm just leave mine here for now. So with the holidays coming up, I need I have the Demo, you will always see me um, using is fancy pens. I am a pen gal, even though I work in AI, I love, I love a good pen. And so pens are important to me. I use them in my demonstration. So for this instruction, I'm going to ask our um, AI to help me name my fancy pen. So for this, I'm going to say um, give or su suggest product names for a red festive holiday pin that is smear resistant and felt tip. So again, I asked for three variants. Here are the product names and I will click generate. So it gave me a lot more than three. <laughs> so um, it gave me the perfect holiday pin, the smear resistant holiday pin, the felt tip pin, miracle marker, Rudolph's red pin. Ooh, I like that. And uh, jingle bell pin, sleigh ride pin, North Pole, crimson ballpoint. I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, just select this text here. As you can see, I have some options to do with this. So for this example, um, I'm just gonna highlight it or marker it. So if I like something, I can go through, marker it or make it bold. Um, even if I like it so much, um, or let's say I like this list more. So this is a block and this is a block. And you can see like the click to tune. So if I wanted to move this down, I could, or I can always drag and drop that block. So if I wanted to drag and drop within the editor, I easily could do so. Also, if I wanted to add a heading, I could say Lauren's fancy pin name suggestions. As well as within the editor, you can see that we have your, you know, your basic kind of formatting um, prompts. We have in this left-hand corner, I know my directions, <laughs> left-hand corner, we have the number of words and the number of characters. But when I actually highlight something like Rudolph's Red Pens, it tells me the number of characters and words for those that are highlighted. Um, also, I have some improved writing options. So within the editor itself, I could enhance this, which means just tweak and refine, rewrite it. Or if I was writing something with a lot more content, I could choose to extend, which I'm going to. So I'm going to take this option because I really like it. And now I'm going to say, write a best of product description for the product Rudolph's Red Pen that is smear resistant. And let's try this belt pin. And I'm just gonna click my cursor here because that's kind of where I want it to go. And again, I asked for three variations here. So it's gonna give me three. I like this one. So again, I can highlight this or I can you know, then delete and go through here and change anything else. So let's say I want to write an article about the importance of handwritten notes or handwritten holiday cards. Let's do that. So I could say, um, 
write an article and I'm gonna change this to one because I don't want too much here. <laughs> I'm gonna say friendly. Um, I'll keep it friendly. I'll keep the tone friendly and then I'll ask for a little bit more. So write an article. Um, this is where you kind of want to be a little bit intentional with your words. So I want to write an article explaining, I don't like that word, but I'm going to go with it, explaining the importance of handwritten notes. Again, I'm going to click in here. And if you can see here, I'm just kind of keeping it all on theme. So let's say you're working on a project um, all about fancy pens and you need to generate product names, product descriptions, social media captions, et cetera. You can do that all within one document. And so here it is, handwritten notes may seem like a thing of the past of the digital age. Again, I just wanna reiterate to you that you can highlight anything. You can say extend. So let's say I really like this sentence and I want to extend it or keep it going. The more you select here, the better, um, especially when it comes to the quality of that. You can create everything you need here in regard to one topic or one specific project right in one document. We still have some other features here, such as assigning it. So if you have a team and you need them to review it, either you are the boss and you're going to be the one reviewing, or you have feedback or you wanna give context to things, um, write something here and then italicize. So maybe if you wanna give all of your feedback in italics, you can. We also have the ability to publish this to Google Docs if you have that connection set up and we have that export feature. So once, if you create that content in Copysmith and you need to get it out, you can do so. So if your connection to public to Google Docs is set up, you can publish it to Google Docs. If you wanna make it into text file, a PDF or a CSV, or even a Microsoft Word doc, you can do that here too.